What's up guys, today we're looking at some pulleys. Uh, here's the first pulley here. We're going to play it and see what happens. So obviously the bigger mass um, goes down and that turns the pulley, um, causing the smaller mass to move up. Now this can be useful in the real world um, when we're trying to lift something heavy because we can put our full body weight into the, to the lifting. Okay. When you lift something without a pulley, you just have your strength, the strength and the force you can generate upwards, but we can put our full body weight on the pulley to lift um, the other mass up. Okay, so that's the first one. If we look uh, to our next ones now, so if we play this, so again, we get uh, the mass moving down and um, the other mass moving up. This time you'll notice that um, this mass is quite a lot bigger. And the other mass. Um, so this is called mechanical advantage. So this happens because we have four strings in tension pulling the the bigger mass up. Okay, each string uh, evenly distributes the force um, of the weight of the weight force. Okay, so our weight force is seven oh six plus the two mass uh, two weights of the uh, pulleys here. So it's about it's gonna be 760, 766 or so. So if we look here, each one's got about 192 newtons on it. So it's evenly distributed the force, the weight force of the um, mass here, which would be because if we times uh, 192 by four, we get 768 or so, um, which is just slightly larger than the weight force of the object here. And because it's larger, we get acceleration upwards. Uh, the the reason it's we only have to pull uh, one quarter of the weight, which we can use such a small mass here, um, is because we're only pulling the string here. We're only pulling that string there, and we only need to pull that in order for this one to rise. So I'll play it one more time. Um, See, so yeah, we're only pulling the 193 newtons. And so we can use quite a small mass to lift up um, the bigger mass. Okay. If we add more strings, we decrease the force that we need to pull uh, even more. So I've got the same size force here, um, but we've got a pulling force, I should say. We've got a bigger weight force now, um, and you'll see once again we can we can pull even bigger weights by using more pulleys. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at are these ones here. So uh, they're slightly different, um, but they, they work um, in a similar way. So we're going to play this first. We're going to just look at this one here first. So if I pause it there and we look here. So the weight force of our um, object we're lifting is 201 newtons plus 30.8 newtons. So it's going to be about 230, um, 232 uh, newtons. So if we look here, we can see that each string is taking half the weight force. Okay, so similar to in our last one, the weight force is shared. Um, if we then move up to this next one, so we've, we've seen there's half and half on each string. If we look up to this next pulley, then we see that each uh, each string here is taking half of um, half of this um, force. Um, it is half of that force. Um, sorry, it is that that force on the string plus the weight of the pulley, the weight of this pulley divided by two. If this pulley didn't weigh anything, uh, then it would be exactly half of one hundred and sixteen. Okay, that's why it's slightly higher. Okay, um, so yeah, so. The more uh, pulleys we use, the more times we do this, uh, the less weight force that we actually need to lift. As you can see, we've got 74 newtons going into our pulley, so we only need 74 newtons of pull force. Um, so if I look at this one, next one now, so we've got more pulleys now. Uh, one thing I should say about these ones is that in order to lift a certain height, you need to pull uh, the the weight, pull this um, this mass a lot further, okay? And compared to the other ones we looked at, um, we every if our, 
our put the distance we pulled was proportional to the di the distance of lift. Okay, so on this one here, uh, same thing, but it's going to be even greater. Okay, so every time we pull down a certain amount, um, it's only going to lift a small amount. So if we yeah, so if we look there, we see that. Um, so we see the the mass slowly lifting. Um, again, the weight force is halved to each string, and then it's halved again, um, considering that um, the pulley weight is also added, and then halved again. And so we're actually lifting uh, this time. So over here we were lifting one quarter, I think it was one quarter of. So we'd half, and then we'd half again. So one quarter of the weight. Now we're lifting uh, one eighth. So we've got it halved here, halved again, halved again. So it's one eighth of the weight force here we're lifting. Okay, so we can use pulleys to get a mechanical advantage. I'll just play this one um, again just so you can see it all the way through. Okay, so it's a mechanical advantage. Now, the last one that I wanted to show you is this one here. This one's my favorite. This one doesn't need a fixed point on some sort of, like this here, that's a fixed point on this part here. We don't need a fixed point because we just attach it to the pulley. So we've got we've got this string attached uh, to the pulleys and we've, we've attached basically all the pulleys together. Now if we watch this one, um, we see, I've got it, I've got it um, balanced out pretty well so it's only slowly going down. Um, so let's look into what forces are acting here. So we see that we've got uh, we've got a weight force of what is it? It's going to be what does it say? Does it not say? Okay, I can check that. Let's check it real quick. So we've got 20, 24 kgs um, plus so twenty four twenty four times nine point eight one will give us the weight force. So two hundred thirty five um, plus the weight force of the pulley, which is thirty. So plus thirty. We have about 265 newtons of uh, of weight force there, and so we see that this is split up into three um, strings. So we've got 70 plus 70 plus 124. So if we add that up, we yeah we'd get pretty close to our value 70 70. I'll put yeah we get we get um, that value. So um, and if we come up further now, we see that that's 124. Is then further split up into um, 70s, um, 70, oh, 69 .6, 69.6, 69.7. And then finally, if we look at these ones here, we see the full story. We see that um, actually, we need to look at that one and the one up here. Yeah, so we see we've got 70 here, it's about 70 there, about 70 there, about 70 there. Okay, so we're lifting um, the entire weight um, on the four strings and the weight. Of that pulley I believe as well um, so that's why it's a little bit larger again okay so we're lifting the 70 Newtons um, we're lifting this one string um, and so we only need a smaller mass than the one we're lifting so you can see that happening here okay so that's a quick rundown on pulleys and how they work um, so just all you got to really remember is that uh, the more strings we have or the more pulleys we have, uh, the greater distribution of the weight force into each um, string. And therefore, uh, we actually, if we're pulling one of the strings, we're actually pulling a very small proportion um, or a smaller proportion of the overall weight force. I hope you learned something. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, catch you next time.